Welcome to the penultimate part of Friends of Mineral Town. I thought I would be able to combine everything into one video, but winter ended up being long enough that it could have its own part. Year three will be the entirety of the final part, part 26. Now, Lou gave me, I think this is the summer sun? Spring. She never gave me the other sun, so that's the only one I couldn't make, spring sun. Hmm. But that's just fine because the fall sun requires you to make X products, and I never got that far. <laughs> so I'm fine with this. Spring Sun just uses a bunch of different flowers. I did find something to actually use the different suns for. It's not practical. Also, I have two because I made one and then realized I wasn't recording. But this is how I spent winter. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. The first week of it, specifically. I went into the <laughs> mines and just... I spent hours where I got... That's... I thought these parts would take longer to record, mostly because I spent so long in the mines. A day, like, it would it would take me an entire day to go through there twice, maybe three times. Real life, like real time day, so. But all of that was to build up money so I could actually buy the town villa. I ended up being able to do that within the first in-game week, so the rest of it is going to be doing extra stuff. Oh, Thomas. Luckily, I have one piece of mochi left over. Here you go. Have some two-year-old mochi on the house. No, really, it's on the house. Here's a ladder. Go get it. <laughs> I roofed it, Thomas. I roofed it. You'll get it later. Luckily, because I'd, I'd gone through the mines completely and I'd made friends with the Harvest Goddess, I could just go directly to floor 200, clear that out of the Alexandrite, and then slowly make my way down. There's only a couple of levels where you really have to worry about pitfalls. I think that's floor 200 and floor 240. After that, every other, like 210, 220, etc., those don't have pitfalls, so it's actually very easy to go through there. Do a lot of save scumming to go specifically for the diamonds and the pink diamonds, etc., but it's just time-consuming rather than especially difficult. So your wife's in there getting dinner ready, and you're just running <laughs> in, filling up the backpack with candy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this was a good chance, actually, for me to clear out my fridge of all the food that I cooked, because I'm not giving any more to the Harvest Goddess. Also, I'm going ahead and selling the stuff that I put in the cabinet just in case. Because I want to, I want to get to that 10 million gold as quickly as I can. Luckily, the mines. Every time I went through it, I consistently was able to get around 500,000 gold. And there are a few other ways I was able to make money outside of it too. Zach, are you ready for what you're about to buy from me? All right, so we're with 3.28. <laughs> oh, shipping a lot today, huh? So that was a cool 2.1 million, almost exactly. The mythical mochi. You could have just saved one from last New Year's? <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks. Thanks for the log. Thanks for the golden stick in return for your ice cream. <laughs> Kitty. I'm not going to be showing every time that I come back from the mines. And we got five million more to go. So some of those items that I can't sell, there's actually a way to sell them that we'll be showing later. You might be wondering, Marie does go to the library to work on certain days. What does she do with the baby? She just leaves it on the bed. The baby is too compact to be able to go anywhere. I mean, it's a 
baby. How much trouble could it possibly cause? Now I am going ahead and showing off some of the stuff that you can get from Van. You bring him Van's favorite, and what he sells to you is randomized. Usually it costs about a million gold. With save scumming, I could show it off without actually spending anything, so... What the quiz book is, we come to the library, we go directly to the far left bookcase, and you're given 100 questions that you need to answer completely, otherwise you fail the quiz and you have to start over. These are pulled from a random list of several hundred different questions, a lot of them stuff you wouldn't even think about, so... What I just did was I opened... I found someone who had posted all the answers and just looked through them to get through it. I'm not showing every single one, I'm sort of going to like a few and then jumping ahead 25, a few jumping ahead. So let me get this straight. You buy this million dollar book from some weirdo who set up on an orange crate on the second floor of a Holiday Inn, mm -hmm. and then take it to your wife's library and shamefully hide in the corner <laughs> and do the quiz. <laughs> While looking at a cheat sheet. Best must be the kind of person who, like, has one finger holding open the answer key in a puzzle book. <laughs> I think I know this one. Oh, I got it wrong. Next oh, one I'll do for well, sure, I'll though. Just write down, I'll write down the right answer. It's fine. So that everybody knows. So that everybody knows I'm smart. I know this one by heart. The funny thing about this, because they're randomized, you will very likely get the same answer like five times. <laughs> they're even fourth wall breaking questions. I'm gonna say, so this implies that the bookcase is asking you, the player, the questions. Yeah. And your reward for all this, at the very end, the Harvest Goddess calls you up and says, bum, ba, ka, ba. Don't you have anything better to do? <laughs> well, bye. I even played you my special tune. See? That's it. That's all you get. Get back to work. See? Pretty low chance. Good lord. These are like data mining questions. Yeah, pretty much. What is your mother's maiden name? Oh, you're not getting me with that one <laughs> again. See, this question is about a TV show that you cannot see until you bought the town villa because the villa gets different shows than the farm. <laughs> Ooh, satellite TV. Nice. Oh, you better remember this. Oh, come on. When is it? Yeah, there you go. Hey, he told me it was every day. Every day's my birthday. The present I want is whatever you got in your wallet. Also got to remember the shipping price questions refers to the base version of the game. If you're playing on seedling mode, it's going to be different than what you're used to. Oh, no. That's awful. That's so dirty. This is just referring to the pause menu, which is relationships. The dawn of time. I'm going to say, when was dirt born? <laughs> How dare you? Oh, I'm so excited. could we possibly get from all this? It must be incredible. Well, was it? <laughs> I'm not even sure if I got like a farmer point for that. Congratulations. I've never been angrier like this week. 
But this is why I saved scum, because that was not worth a million gold. Anyway, let's go back and buy all the background music. I mentioned earlier in a caption, I had found out how to get all the background music. I thought, okay, I'm not doing that. Then I realized I don't need to actually save after I do it. But let's look at the remaining, I think, 10 pieces of music. We already had that one. That's from A Wonderful Life. I'm not sure what Sprite Station refers to. If anyone recognizes the music, let me know. Because they changed the names. They don't refer directly to the original games. Tree of Towns. Okay, that... Oh, yeah, Trio of Towns. That was fine, I guess. A lot of people swore by Trio of Towns. I got really bored with it really fast. Yeah, it, I bounced off it pretty hard. I think I was hoping it would play more like Story of Seasons 1. Yeah, there was just, just something about it. You know, I think the problem was the fact that there were, like, three towns just left it feeling really unfocused. I never really had mm. a good sense of place in it. Yeah, at least Tale of Two Towns, there was sort of that warring aspect between them. Mm -hmm. So you felt like if you were being part of one, you were specifically choosing a side while also trying to get them to make up. It got weird when they asked you to start building catapults. <laughs> I wish. At that distance, you need a trebuchet. Yeah, very strange. Upgrade the pick and undermine their town walls. That's <laughs> how I'd do it. I guess this is as good a point as any to mention the most recent Story of Seasons game, newest one as of the recording of this, uh, Pioneers of Olive Town, Ooh. which looks exactly like the 3DS Story of Seasons games, and it looks so unbelievably cheap and lazy. Yeah, but it's called Story of Seasons Poot. <laughs> oh, it is! Poot! Poot. Yo, in my opinion, play Valheim instead. You would say that. It's got farming. It's got cute animals. Valheim, I don't think I've heard of that. It's nuts. It's it's insane. It's a crazy experience. If you like Vikings and naked trolls. Oh, I recognize this one. Now this one I know. <laughs> um I know it by heart. What is happening? It, it could be from Save the Homeland, but Stop it! Get back! <laughs> back up! Get back up! Back! I know it from Hero of Leaf Valley. Dude, no! <laughs> there's two! Shit. Get out of here! Yeah, me get the broom! Um, get I only have one broom. We're in trouble. <laughs> We've got an infestation. Good memories. Hero of Leaf Valley is incredibly janky, but there's a lot of charm and a lot of good ideas to it. It nearly worked. I appreciate this. I've never seen you so nostalgic. These are clips from the Let's Play of Hero of Leaf Valley. The truest anime wedding. I married the villain. Well. I don't have a clip of this because I have no idea where the music's from. <laughs> Someone had to take the wind out of that tsundere. funeral music from when you die at the end. <laughs> right. Dressing a little traditional in respect. There we go. Nice little nostalgia trip. But now the question is, what do I do with all the stuff that I can't sell? Well, you might recall, Wong has given us the ability to sell stuff to him. We can actually sell stuff to him that we can't normally sell, and that includes Van's favorite, 
our trophies if we don't want them anymore, the different sons, etc. The only things we cannot sell to him are the gifts that you get from the bachelors and bachelorettes. And he buys them for a lot. Sort of testing here. He only buys them one at a time. I was testing it just in case I ended up selling the entire stack to him for the price of one. Thankfully, he doesn't do that. He only buys one. There we go. So that added to my bursting full wallet even more. And this is something we can actually do with the sons. We can cook them, quote-unquote, and then we can sell them to Wong. I feel like he buys them for a lot more than what the individual ingredients would be worth. Oh, baby. So, yeah. Oh, baby! Yeah, those where you put in a shit ton of really expensive gems, well, they sell for a shit ton. Oh, baby, that's definitely worth emoji. Hell yeah. There we go. I, I made a million or so just off of that. See, I can't sell Ron's music box. I can sell the stuff that gave me different recipes, like the tomato set of stone. Mm. Here's something ridiculous for you. Come on. I like that, uh, that you just like clearing out your cupboards and pawning all your shit. <laughs> Not telling Murray what you're up to. We also can't sell the statues that we found in the mines. Because they're cursed. Yeah. You know, probably. Uh, it's a statue of Plum. 8.3 million. So, uh, can I interest you in farm coin? Aha! No, yeah, I mean, we've done enough mining. All right, Boom, you're going to give us our final baby. Hi, Boom. Happy Boom. Baby time. Baby time. Just a little Boom. Just a more of a more of a pop. <laughs> oh, that's what I should have named the baby. I'm going to say right now, in previous farming games, I've sold the animals near the end of the LP, so I didn't have to worry about them. I did not do that this time. I kept all the animals. Good. You might have a riot on your hands if you did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can't get rid of cuties. So the basic medicines, I hadn't unlocked how to cook them yet. I didn't even know you could, actually. You need to make like 10, maybe 20 recipes using honey, because the medicines use honey. Mm. Yeah, actually, I uh, I learned how to make uh, homebrew Tylenol after uh, after cooking a stack of crepes, <laughs> and it's uh, it's good. You know, the rash went away uh, after a little while. I regained sight in my left eye, so great success. I went all in. I made um, graham crackers from scratch. Now I can make Sudafed. Oh, wow. There we go. 10 million. Hey, yeah. look at that. Got that ahead of time. Buying the town villa will be the end of the LP, so we'll be doing that next time. But I wanted to get the money out of the way. Honey, pack your shit. We're moving to town. <laughs> Is it your birthday? My birthday? Baby's birthday? It's our marriage's birthday. Oh, hooray! It... I've already got one. Is it a baby? I've already got one of those. <laughs> Marie? I really don't need to. I know, I get it, I get it. Babies are a fucking gift. It was just... An amethyst. Mm, thanks. Thanks, hon. A geode. How nice. I'll put in a little more effort and give her favorite food, at least. V8. 
but green. Mmm. Green aid. Oh dear. I managed to avoid this for the entirety of the first winter, but there is a chance that you can get snowstorms. They're basically winter typhoons. Ah, uh, now you're speaking my language. Yeah, I was gonna say, no, that, that I know how to deal with. Thankfully, because it's winter, you just need to get the harvest price to look after the animals, which I had them doing anyway, so. Your paper anniversary. Ah, yes, that's right. One of those weird traditions that people came up with before TV. Oh, good. Snow on the TV as well. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, yeah. Snowstorm, play with the cat. And this is pretty true to life here. Jeez, yeah, I was just, just saying, we're getting a, getting a fucking window into Yami's life here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my cat, it could be the 4th of July and have a shit ton of fireworks going off. He doesn't really seem to care, and he's an outdoors cat. Yeah, none of our animals really care. Well, yeah, we'll have, like, fireworks going off, and Midna's just, like, whatever. Mm. Is that a second typhoon in a row? I I got a lot of snowstorms this winter. Yeah, you've had uh, really good weather karma this run. Well, y young Lucas doesn't uh, care too much about weather, but that's because he's six years old and probably blind. Oh. Oh, that's the cat. I thought someone pooped on your yard. <laughs> <laughs> By this point in the LP, taking care of the animals was really easy because I just told the Harvest Brights to do it. I'm not worrying about plants anymore. I don't need to. And clearing the farm is really easy when you've upgraded tools. You don't even have to put shoes on. Step outside the front door, blam! <laughs> nice and clean. Well, unfortunately, Fuckhead did not grow up in time for winter, even though it was sunny. So, like, I got one of the two things that that I needed. So, unfortunately, we're going to have to wait for getting the Capybara next year. But I will actually do it. Like, I'm going to work my damnedest for that to happen. Oh, I can wait. I can wait. I know how difficult it is to buy two pets, and I am mentally prepared. Let's at least take a look at the capybaras for now. <laughs> look at them, look at their big faces. <laughs> <laughs> look at that big old head. <laughs> Frustrating, but at the very least, I was worried that fuckhead, he would be at seven hearts up until winter 16th and then he would finally get eight hearts, but no, it actually took him like a couple more weeks to get to eight hearts. So at least it wasn't completely mm. fucking me over. Right. Ah, oh, well, at least we got to look at them. Look at yeah. their little faces. And here's me realizing the interesting books actually say different things. I didn't realize that. Not many things, like two or three. But I was doing this because another thing I want to show off, what happens when you get to 4.44 a.m. and look at the TV. Because four is an unlucky number in Asian cultures. <laughs> so if you got all fours, what happens? Zero, one, two, three, four. Bunch of nonsense. Occasionally we do get letters and they're actually words backwards.
And as long as you stay here, it repeats. All right, what was that? Times 50 rod, the rod, use. Curse, break the curse. To break the curse, use the rod 50 times. So at 4.44 a.m., the TV tells you how to uncurse the curse tools. While also broadcasting a number station. Is best a communist spy? <laughs> Thirteen. Thirteen. Is fuckhead a communist spy? Yep, 100%. Number nine. Look at those red little feet. <laughs> Let's look some more at the books. Already know that. This, a lot of my days were like this, just reading the same interesting books. Just reading real interesting books. <gasps> what kind of shows? One's about a fairy, I know that. Sounds amazing. <laughs> no, I figured it'd just be like HGTV. They don't cycle, it's randomized. This book only wants me to watch TV. This is just weird. I was jumping ahead to the evening because today is starlight night and you spend that with your family. So you sat around reading all day, went outside for two minutes, came back, and your wife had cooked you an entire spread. She was on it. Oops. Ah, bang. Just a little, little bang. Just a little bang. New Year's time. I think I missed this the first time around. It's a lot like the other one in that it's just kind of a shit post. We get it. You smoke weed. Bong. <laughs> bong. Bong. Doobie. Bong. Weed. Weed. Sounds like my alarm clock. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if that was added specifically for this remake, because yeah, the basket was an item in the original Friends of Mineral Town. But since you got the big bag, you don't use it. Like, the basket's not a usable item. And I think that's everything. So there are actually two New Year's festivals, as it were. One happens at 6 p.m. in the plaza. If you go there, you can't go to the second one, which happens at midnight on Mother's Hill. It's, it's 12.30. The New Year started already. You're all half an hour late. And it's still snowy. It's time flying. Yes. Yes, it is. Oh, you're a few hours early there, Anna, but whatever. Yay, our sacrifice was accepted. And because of that, you'll find that all of the snow has magically disappeared when you get home. 
Well, that's lucky. And here's another New Year's show that I missed. Whatever game. <laughs> Very fitting. <laughs> Mr. B was me in kindergarten. <laughs> Mr. B does not have one. Mochi Bonanza. That was kind of interesting because it doesn't really make a lot of sense in a Western context. <laughs> <laughs> At all. <laughs> Even a little bit. Hey, we get a trophy for reaching year three. Congrats. That's it. Just congrats. No punctuation. Lowercase. Congrats. You did a good job. Seems pretty sarcastic there. Good work. Thank you. And I think everyone gives you the same New Year's greetings. You kept playing the video game. Congratulations. Yeah, this... I don't know. So, something about this quote-unquote post-game in, uh, in in Friends of Mineral Town, it really does kind of feel like a like a dying fish. Like, it's, <laughs> it's kind of gasping its last and won't go away. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, by, by the time I, I reach this point in most video games, there's a pretty strong indication that I should move on to something else. Yeah. I mean, Thorne did, you know, sort of rush everything for the purposes of showing it off. Yeah, but I mean, there wasn't, like, that much to show in year two, was there? Not too much. Not a ton to do in general. So even spread out, you're only going to make it like three-ish years. Yeah. I should just really love growing turnips. I guess. I mean, that's how it was in the earlier games, too, where you had basically two years to fix up the farm as best as you could, and then your dad would come and check it out. And however you did, that's what you were stuck with. If you wanted a better result, then you had to start over. Mm -hmm. yeah, in the Super Nintendo one, you two and a half years and you just you were done like you did not get to keep playing. And that's how we liked it. <laughs> no, 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 we didn't. We didn't like that. So, we wanted to keep playing. It's finality. Speaking of finality, everyone ready for the last episode? I am. Me, me. I'm ready for capybaras. That's that's basically it. I just I want to I want to see a capybara eat a treat. That's that's my goal. <laughs> no promises. Yeah, did you say tree or treat? Treat. Don't make fun of my accent. I heard Just because I'm foreign, okay? <laughs> Just because I'm not from around here. <laughs> so tune in next time for a capybara eating a tree. Eating a tree. Or treat. <laughs> I don't know. However they say it in Canada. <laughs>